welcome back to Int Plus One channel. This is Carl, and this is Let's Play Enchanted Arms. And actually, this is part five. Now, I'm actually really excited to do this game. Um, you know, one, one of the things is I, I end up playing a lot of kind of niche or underrated games, or, or maybe in some cases, genuinely bad games. And so this is one that's actually typically regarded as bad. Uh, so far, I haven't seen a lot to really consider bad about it. But we're back here, and uh, we had some pretty crazy stuff happen. We actually had something happen that wasn't kind of inane. Um, we fought some pizza monsters, some clowns, uh, I guess they're golems, right? And we went through a big, long, you know, getting the golden ticket kind of deal. I'm in the groove now. I actually think this is really interesting. So instead of, like, you know, um, a typical three party, uh, a three person battle party. We actually have something a little, I don't know. I don't want to say non-traditional, because um, it's certainly not like incredibly non-traditional, but it isn't typical. And I like that, right? This this game actually is is pretty interesting. I'm gonna fast forward, or you know, hold down the triangle button. We can see all the ridiculous stuff. I probably actually should have gone ahead and boosted him ahead of time. Now, honestly, every turn-based RPG, I think, needs a uh, fast-forward button. It's such a simple, but really, I don't know. I don't want to say obvious, right? Because if it was obvious, I feel like everyone would have done it. Um, but I do sort of want to say that I feel like it's something that a lot of these games need. All right, I love, absolutely love my turn-based RPGs, right? They're one of my favorite genres of games <coughs> especially especially games like Lost Odyssey <clears throat> and you'll have to forgive me for whatever reason my voice is a little extra hoarse at the moment I thought I was getting better but nope no got a well you don't need to know this right but yeah you know I got a um, yeah you don't need to know it right so I, I'm doing okay <coughs> excuse me mm. kind of hanging in there but really feeling very passionate about this, and I don't want to stop the train while it's going. What, what's the train? The train is is what's happening, right? The train is this channel and making it into something that's just awesome. Awesome for the community in general. So, yeah, that's all right. We'll do a quick start. I'm going to hold down the triangle button. Now, honestly, I swear I walked like three steps and I got in a battle. I hope that the uh, encounter rate really isn't typically that high. Because if it is, that's gonna make this kind of frustrating, I think, for uh, for people to watch, quite frankly. Um, and, you know, I'm really trying to do the thing where I don't necessarily cut anything. Um, now, is that realistic for RPGs? I don't know, right? This is part of, uh, this is part of the learning experience of doing this. You know, so maybe I might have to entertain doing some editing, but then that, you know, that, that puts a really big delay um, on sort of putting these out and, and making them happen. And it's, you know, they already take a back seat to a, n a large number of things that I've actually got to do. <coughs> All right, yeah, the encounter rate is way too high. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be, uh, what I'm supposed to be doing at the moment. Well, no, that's not true. I know where I'm supposed to be going, but I haven't even got a chance to move around enough to understand where my bearings should be. And uh, I'm feeling a little frustrated about that, actually. I see you. Yeah. So if I can just kind of make this happen uh, to where I'm not strictly feeling like I'm wandering around. All right. All right, Makoto, you go here. Flip. Oh, you know what? You can't do that. It's all right. You know what? You no. Okay. You're gonna stand by. You're gonna go here because you can high spear, and then you here, so we can blow him, and we're gonna quick start. Yeah, that's fine, right? Not everyone's ready. Oh, hey. Now that's cool. I would like to know what the conditions are for that. It seems like it's, um, I mean, I don't want to say completely random, but it doesn't feel like it's its something that's easily measurable either. 
Um, but no, it probably is random, or it's, you know, pseudo-random, as random as random gets with games, typically. Alright, so... Oop, hey! It's money shot. Nice. Hey, Yuki. <coughs> I do have to laugh. That's sort of an anticlimactic name. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. What, did you do this, Miss Plastic Skin Face Head? Fight time! We can't do this right now. Once I win, you'd better accept defeat. Accept it, and hand You can't expect me to hand over my arm. That's true, right? You know, what, what do you have, a hacksaw? Shut up! Enough talk! All right, if this is really gonna go down now, I'm pretty shocked. You don't get to order me around. Ah! Okay, I was gonna say, yeah, I mean this, you know, we got, uh, we got these big giant golem metal gears running around here. See? Hey, are you okay? Suma, we have to deal with this problem first. Yes, we do. You know, for an enemy, those bullets seem to shoot really slow. That's convenient. All right, so what is this? This is our first boss, I think, or our first kind of mini boss, because this is definitely, definitely different music. Uh, so I know what I want to do. I want to bring my Talagon here. Yeah, but then can I can I stand him by for just a moment? Oh wait, all right. What I want to do is I want to move him there so I can move him here, and then I can stand him by for just a second. I want to. Uh, oh, I can't do that. I'm not happy with their arrangement. Okay. Dag on it. Okay, fine. You power charge him. Well, no. You know what? That'll be fine because. I think he'll be uh, he'll have been moved by that point in time, and I'm gonna use Makoto to do. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Now I don't know what the spread of his attacks are though. We're gonna just technically register this as an auto start. I would fast forward, but you know this battle might be a little epic. You ready for this? Yeah. Oh, ooh, that did not do a lot of damage. But that did a lot of damage to Makoto. Alright, that's okay. So, here's where we start doing things. Oh, dang it. Alright, you stand by. I realize I put him in the line of fire, but that's okay. Yeah. You stand by there. I want you to... Oh, shoot. Alright. I'm not. All right, so everyone's basically action through inaction. He's just too high. He's just too far away. Oh, wow. Okay, so I lost my Talagon or Tagaline. He's just so far out of the the range of what I can actually hit. All right, so I'm gonna have to bait him. This is the only way. Stand by. So once I can bait him with all my characters by taking them to the back row. Presuming he can't, you know, shoot that far away. And of course he can totally shoot that far away. Ooh. Alright, this stinks. Okay. I actually don't know how to uh cure ballad. Yeah, cure ballad. Ah oh, man. And there's no way I can bring back the Talgalon. Tar or the what? Talgalion. Okay, Atsuma's... I'm not sure how to handle this. Alright. I'm thinking that it probably doesn't... I don't know. Alright. Toya, you go here. Stand by. Here you go. We're gonna have to figure this... Out. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have to figure I'm this out. Okay. Good, good, all right. Now, so the, this is something we can work with. Now, is there a way to like, you know, Phoenix down him or something? Heaven Squall. Return powder. Gotcha. All right, that's what I want to do. I want to, um, 
I want to bring back my Pokemon with that return powder. And I want to bring Makoto here, and he is going to Flare Rush him, even though that takes more EP. And then Makoto, I think, I can't remember the distance for Vita. Yeah, Makoto's perfect for that. Okay, so now we can actually start going on the offensive. All right, look at that. Ooh, and of course I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose my silly lion again. Ah! All right, fine. I'm going to have to consider going back again. Going back on the defensive. Wait, how do I want to do this? I want to do this like. I want to do this like this. You move back here, and stand by. You. You might be able to reach that with that high spears. Yep. And then Makoto is going to stay there, and he's going to cure Ballad. And we're going to start Here goes. this. Love for all. Yep, we're spreading love here. I'm alive again. Well, he was alive beforehand. Ooh, and see, look at that. I put them both in the line of fire. That's okay, though. Uh, he didn't move. Well, he did move uh, kind of unconveniently. Um, because I need him to come a little bit closer. Alright, so what I can do is I can put him slightly out of the way, Aqua Spike it. You know, it's 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 electronic, right? So it's either gonna be maybe sensitive to something like um like electricity or, or something along those lines. And we're gonna beat Sonic the heck out of him. And I think that this is the turn that lets us win this battle. Yep. You ready for this? From the light. Nice! That worked! I mean, it's the beginning of the game. I don't expect it to be terribly difficult. Oh, and we got Atsuma leveled up and Primrose. And, you know, I don't even think I... Yeah, I never even set Primrose to come into the battle. I forgot I synthesized All right. her. That's that. Or whatever that's called, right? You know, genetically modified. I didn't really, you know, but... I can't think of... I, don't, I can't think of what to call that. All right, that's that. <laughs> hey. Hey. Here. Take, take my, my hand. hand. Come, come on. on. I can stand up by myself. Thanks very much. Uh, Are you hurt badly? This is nothing. I can do it myself, you hear? You'll get no money from me. You know, I don't want money. Money? This friendly act of yours will get you nothing from me. You can't trick me that easily. Drop dead, moron. Drop dead? Hey, we just saved your life. Shut it. I'll never forget this disgrace. <laughs> disgrace? I'll pay you back for this. I, I mean, you know, I didn't sell you anything. You don't have to pay me anything. Just what is her problem? I don't know, but no time now. Let's head into the school. Yeah, let's go to school. Obtain wave for Hatsuma. All right, we're going to go ahead and press the correct button to save it, which should be the triangle button. Yep. And then I think we're going to evaluate our party and maybe equipment if there's such a thing as equipment. I'm presuming there's equipment, but maybe not. <coughs> All right, let's see here. Uh, edit party. Oh, let's see here. Size one. Okay. So, I kind of prefer my, my human characters, though. So, I'd, I'd like to hold on to them as much as possible. Interesting. Now, he levels up soon. He's already level 2. Primrose starts at level 2. And uh, Toya, man, he's level 4. Alright. Skills. Atsuma. Yeah, equip a skill. I think we just got one. I don't want to exchange anything. Wait, what? I could have sworn it said I had like a skill. Maybe I didn't pay attention to that well enough. Uh, well, that's fine, right? That's not super relevant at the moment. I think I'm going to be okay. I actually don't recall if I just saved. I think I saved. Even if I didn't, that, hard, that battle wasn't hard. Totally redo it. Not a big deal. Let's go ahead and let's go to school. I really also could use some healing items. 
Yeah, not not super happy about the encounter rate. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> uh, I I will be looking up if there's some kind of like an equivalent of an encounter nun, because uh, the battles aren't hard. And in fact, you know what? Just auto. Yeah, let's just see what happens. I'm just gonna auto fast forward it. That's a really nice option. I think the first RPG I played with an auto option, I think, had to have been like Lunar. Um, or was it Lunar? It was Lunar on the Sega CD. You, you had a uh, automation option. You could just automate out your your party's um, movements. Look at all attacks, the damage to like the school. That. This can't be. The whole campus is protected by an ancient magic barrier. Well then, the call is coming from within the house. It would take something tremendously powerful to cause this kind of damage. No, oh, well, I think it came from something inside like there. the power of your right arm, Atsuma. So I disagree. I actually think it's in that 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 room that we saw. My arm? Hey, I didn't do a thing. I know. I was with you the whole time. But your power and all this, there may be some similarities, some connection. I don't see where he's drawing that correlation at all. Life force has been drained from everyone here too. Which means... Means what? Well, enchanting is the power to create, to add. Positive power. But here, an opposing kind of power. The reverse effect is being used. A negative enchanting effect. Draining life force. And that's like the power of my right arm? Not exactly. Your arm is negation. The effects are somewhat similar, but the cause is different, I'm sure. We still know almost nothing about your power. But how is all this being done? I've never heard of such a thing. It would certainly be very difficult, but not impossible, obviously. I've never heard you uncertain about anything, Toya. We're talking about techniques from the Golem War here. Hardly current stuff. You mean magic? That's right, magic. As you both should know, magic techniques were lost long ago. After oh. the Golem War. The Golem War? Magic? Interesting. Hold it! I can't! This is all getting a little much for the three of us. All we can do is carry on. Ugh, I give up. Do your ears even work? We don't know what could happen, okay? We're enchanters. We know almost nothing about magic. Considering the circumstances, we could very well be risking our lives if we go on. I'm still going. Ugh. Okay, let's go. <laughs> we could be risking our lives. Let's do we it. We just might find out something if we look around the school. Oh. Don't you know what curiosity did to the poor kitty cat? Okay, okay, you win. I'll follow you. Good job. Good job. Yep, we're gonna heal. And, uh, ooh. But I bet you it's more random encounters. Oh, well, luckily for me, it looks like a good chunk of the school has been conveniently blocked off, like the stairs. And so I think that it's actually meant to be linear and that I'm only supposed to go forward. Super convenient because that means I don't have to spend a lot of time kind of walking in the wrong direction. Um, which is fine, right? You know, at this point, it's very much an on-rails story component that I'm doing here. Oh, what do we have? What's going on? Ah, <gasps> oh, yes, it's uh, Coda. Whoa, don't surprise me like that, Coda. Hey, hey, where are you going? He's going to the sealed door that you saw earlier. I am almost positive. If I recall correctly, that way leads us to the sealed ward. Yep. The sealed ward? That sounds like a bad idea. I agree. But can we turn back now? You... Yes. No way. Oh, I mean, no. I thought not. Yep. If anything happens to Toya, I'll hold you responsible. Are you gonna Bill Clinton saxophone me to death? Well, uh, actually, he's, you know, he's reasonably powerful. He's a pretty good... No, no, I haven't gotten in any random battles. This is nice. Uh... Gosh, I really find the, uh, the the soundtrack to this game really interesting. 
so far I haven't heard anything that's like bad uh, when it comes to music. I still haven't gotten a chance to, to think or re really remember to look up the uh, composer. Uh, but that is something that I would like to do. As I really think that... Whoever, oh, okay, well, no, but it's a lower encounter rate, and I care about that. And the other thing that seems un unfortunate is it looks like this version here, the, the PlayStation 3 version that I'm playing, actually has no trophies, which is a bummer. Oh, hey, wait, wait, really? I have to fight one of the little guards? Okay, so first off, what we're going to do then is we're going to take out... Oh, heck, all right. Do you have any... All right, let me rethink this, actually. Um, I've got a chance to do some really bad decisions here. All right, I want to I wanna charge Atsuma up. Then I want to have him move there. And he's going to flare rush him. And then you high spear him. And then Makoto can move back here and beat Sonic him. And then, so... I think that's the best set of moves I can make, because now he's powered up. He'll do a ton of damage to that. Oh, wow. Now, that one's a little bit easier than I was expecting it to be on par with the last one. Realize I've done a little bit of leveling up, but, you know, there's no way that my leveling up should have actually made up for that much of a difference. All right. Wait, is it dead or... Oh, I don't know if it's dead, but that's all right. I can flare rush him. And my tail Goliath can go ahead and blow him. And he can go there and high spear him. And yeah, if you want. But at this point, everyone's... You know, all the enemies are definitely dead. Yeah, you know, he's actually... He actually is a pretty strong guy. I, I do appreciate having him on my party. Well, let's see here. He's tall. Wait. Alright, so I actually don't... Did I walk the wrong direction here? I can't remember where the sealed ward is. Oh, no! This is why I actually can't stand random battles. It's not because I mind the interruptions. But when I'm trying to figure out where I am as I get interrupted, I forget where I was. Like, where I made a turn, stuff like that. It's, you know, I'm just constantly interrupted by a process that... Wait, wait. It's just constantly being interrupted by a process which is not... Uh, which is... Oh, yeah. Alright, well, yeah. Constantly interrupted by a process that is just not ideal. Aha. Got a charge. Move him here, Aqua Spike, and there, and there, beat Sonic, and play Rush, and start. Now, I think this will actually, should ideally take everybody out right at the beginning. Now, I know I could auto battle, and then I might set it to auto battle at the moment. But there's something satisfying, actually, about doing the commands manually. Uh,. Yeah, I mean, at this point, that's all I need to do. No point in actually taking the time to do the extra commands. <laughs> I really enjoy the, uh, the way my uh, tag lion uh, does this kind of bouncing, silly kind of movement. All right, actually, so so maybe it's not completely on... <sighs> Which way did my dog walk? It's wherever my dog walked to. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. This this is irritating as... Oh, ooh, what are those? We can totally lose. Don't you ever assume that. But we're going to fast forward it anyway. Yeah, see? They didn't even take, take any of the enemies out. Oh, man. Oh man, are you serious? That was like, 
That was a terrible set of moves. Why do I even trust that, like, okay. This is just awful. So... All right, you, there. Yeah, you there, because the stupid tile of the lion is in the way. You there. You stand by also. Oh, this is not working out how I want to do it at all. I want to heal. I want to heal somebody. You stand by. You stand. Uh, I'm gonna put you on the offensive. Yeah. Wait. Okay. So, you go there, Aqua Spike, and then Makoto goes here, and he cure ballots them. Overflow. Now, okay, so it's a plus shape, right? Well, that's kind of cool. I'm alive again. Shoot. Yeah, I'm worried about that poison. So this is the first time I've seen poison in this game. So, like, I don't know how impactful it's going to be. I do know that I can... I can... Okay, it must be... Yeah, and beat Sonic, and... And then go ahead and stand by. Here goes. Yeah. I kind of hate that I really haven't gotten much of anywhere, actually. Um... And it's only because I literally am not 100% sure about the where of which I was going. You ready for this, right? Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save it actually because I don't I don't necessarily trust that I'm not gonna just randomly die here. Also, uh, depending on uh, if we find our destination soon or not, I may have to cut this uh, episode a little short. I hate to do that. So I'm really curious about what happens next. But these these random battles are aha! Here we go, the sealed ward. This can't be. The seal is broken. Well, that's what happens when you use chains. <laughs> I, I mean, all right. I mean, I'm sure it's sealed by magic, as, as they said, but it has chains, right? And and what are those chains? They're broken. So, I kind of feel like, yeah, your your chains are gonna break. No. No. So the cause of all this is whatever was sealed in here. Something so terrible it had to be sealed away. Like what? You moron. The ice witch. Call the sealed ward. Of course it's going to be something nasty. No, nasty? they've been talking about this ice witch, so and we saw her in the pre or in the in. trailer. So, I mean, it's kind of obvious. Coda is in there. Coda's in there. Why did my dog go in there? Brain cell. <laughs> That's ridiculous that my dog went I don't think this there. is a laughing matter, Toya. This is trouble. I know. <sighs> That's why I'm going with him. Yeah, like that that little bit of uh, sound in the music, right? This is sort of really cool ambient track. I like it. So we're inside, but just what is this place? Uh, it's a sealed ward. Apparently. From the construction, I'd say that it was built in ancient times. Really? It all looks pretty new to me. That's because this place has been sealed up for so long. I'm sure you're right, Toya. Yeah, well, forget that. Let's get going. Coda is waiting for me. Total fixation is bad for the skin, you know. Okay. Actually, this place looks kind of cool. Um, everything from the little glowing symbols on the wall that almost look like circuits. Well, or magic circuits. I don't know what they look like. They look like circuits to me. Everything looks like circuits to me, I guess. And I, I really like I like the lighting actually. You know, this was uh this was one of the first Xbox 360 games. Um, I mean like as in released within like a year. 
uh, maybe year half of the release date of the system. Oh, oh. I think it was Earth actually the first JRPG, like major JRPG for the system. Well, it, it was supposed to be. Atsuma, I have a bad feeling about this. A bad feeling? Like, maybe this floor is about to collapse? Yeah, that feeling. Come on, just because you said it doesn't mean it's gonna happen. It is! No way! I knew it. Now, how did they say, how did he say, I knew it like that as they Ouch. fell without, oh. you know, like, oh, I knew it, you know. If you've ever fallen before and you've tried to have a conversation, you can't stay calm. Where are we now? Uh... The crest on the floor here. The material used on the walls. The style of the construction. If I recall, and my hypothesis is correct, this is an ancient structure from before the Golem War. I saw pictures in a book at home, though I never expected to actually be here, inside such a place. Wow. You have all kinds of books at your house, don't you? That's what happens when you read. <clears throat> it's not like you, you know. Toya is intelligent, knowledgeable, well-read. We'd be much better off if we let him lead this little expedition, not you. What do you say, Toya? I think a leader needs a slightly hot-blooded side, don't you? Atsuma is more suited for this job than I am. <sighs> you got that right. Oh, yeah. Look at me. Look at my Are arrogance. You little... So, what's the next move, leader? Advance! Forward! At least give it a little thought. Now that we have a leader, Let's get moving. It doesn't look like we can climb back out the way we came in. Let's go! Yes, yes. I'm coming, okay? Alright, so... This is, I think, the perfect spot to... Well, let's, let's shop first, actually. Let's see how this works. Uh, we could buy a core material. Yup. Interesting. Fire attribute, wind attribute. Light attribute. Oh, well, never mind. That that looks like way more expensive than anything I have resources for. In fact, all of these are. That's okay, though. Uh, let's buy items, though, because I want something I can't buy. That revival item. Hmm. They must be a little rare or just not sold at this junction in the game, which stinks. I do want to buy this liquid ether for sure because... Yeah, we, uh, yeah, all right. Okay, Jim. No one else is the same. Jim is my name. Buy a skill. Stampede, high blow. So, so we're, we're pretty poor at this point in the game. Uh, not a lot that we can do, although we might. No way. Are you serious? I wasn't, I was actually just about to end the episode. Uh... There can only be oh, well, these guys are, like, not even the dangerous kind of enemy. They're, like, the we-die-really-quickly type of enemy, which I like. Uh, once I get out of this battle, we're going to go... We're going to go ahead and uh, end this episode. My hope... My hope is actually to, to kind of check it out and uh, kind of finish this... This beginning part of the game, you know, what I can kind of consider uh, before anything gets kicked, gets kicked off soon. So, with that said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save this, and I hope to see you next time. Um, so, what do I want you to do? Well, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know I always talk about subscribing. I always talk about commenting. I always talk about liking, and I always talk about facing the like book. So, if you do any of those things, or all of those things, you are like an awesome, super special person to me, and, and yeah, I hope that you do that, right? This is, this is pretty cool, this is a great experience, I look forward to sharing this in many, 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 many other games with you. So, on that note, thanks for watching, Auf Wiedersehen, I'll see you next time!